Alrighty, what is up everybody? This is a little weird. Um, make a quick little video about this Cummins that I just picked up. Uh, kind of just doing this for fun, for my own personal archive, but if this blows up or it gets more of a outreach to people, we'll continue. But if not, we'll just get started, let's go. Alrighty. So this is a 2006 Dodge Ram Cummins. Uh, it's got the 5.9 in it, four wheel drive, Laramie, mega cab. Uh, picked it up about three weeks ago uh, from a dealer here in town in Las Vegas. Um, I used to have one of these trucks a couple years back. Things didn't really end well with it and ever since then I've been trying to find another one. And this one I found is just completely perfect. Uh, Aside from the wheels that I just put on it, they're from a 2014. The truck is, I mean, just completely bone stock. Like nothing has been done to the motor. Nothing's really done to the interior. It's got an aftermarket head unit in it. And uh, like that is it. So <clears throat> picked up these 20 inch wheels from this dude in town. Like I said, he had a 2014. And I laced up some 295, 65, 20 Nito Ridge Grapplers on them. Um, Measures out to be about like 35.1 inches. So it's actually really nice considering I haven't lifted it at all. That is, however, it's on the agenda. Haven't really uh, decided what I want to do. I'm thinking about doing, so like I was saying, I'm thinking about doing some, the two inch extra soft uh, coils from Thurin. And then I haven't really decided what kind of shock I want to run because you kind of get into that. Uh, you know, I want to keep this truck forever, but how much money do I want to spend? And how much money do I not want to spend? And You know, kind of that type of deal. So I'm thinking I might just roll with some Bilsteins, the uh, 5100s in the meantime. But I mean, the truck rides great how it is with whatever these shocks are. I'm actually not too familiar. I've never really looked under here uh, at what that label says. But <clears throat> I mean, this truck just like, almost 100% rust free, you know, aside from some stuff on the drag link and typical uh, rust spots. Looks like the ball joints have been recently replaced. And I mean, this truck came from California, SoCal, I believe. And it was just like a total, total grandpa truck. I think three owners. Um, the only real big downside, aside from some small cosmetic dings here and there, as I'll show ya. So keep in mind, 16 year old truck, I believe it's been fairly well maintained. I mean, just the interior is immaculate. The headliner's not falling down. <laughs> you know, the dash isn't cracked, but it does have a rib seat. Not in the same spot that you would see on some second gens, but I'm not too worried about that. The only other big thing, see if you can see it. 257,000, not too bad. All things considered, the motor will go forever, or at least for a while, as long as it was maintained. I think it has been maintained, but I know the, the biggest thing that I'm gonna come across, and I think it might be happening sooner rather than later, which sucks. Oh shit. Because uh, it is an older truck. I think the trans is gonna go out first. Um, so we'll see, kind of just mentally preparing for that. But dude, this truck is solid. It's got, uh, like I said, it's got this aftermarket head unit in it. Um, I actually just installed a Apple CarPlay type deal in it. So I've never had one of those, super excited. And I mean, just everything, like the, all the trims there, everything works. You know, it's got the power windows. I mean, obviously power front seats, the rear seats, uh, are not power, but we know how that goes with the mega cab. They can recline tons of space back here. Actually, just got done with work and the gym, so the truck's a little bit messy. But uh, I'll show you this other thing, <clears throat> which is related to the trans. I think the torque converter is a little, uh, it's a little odd. And see, I just barely touched this uh, shifter here. And right now, I don't think it's really in gear because I guarantee you if I open the door, Yeah, see, there you go. Now we're in park, throw it in reverse. Oh, of course it's not gonna do it. Oh wait, ready, watch this, neutral. 
Not sure what that's about. Hopefully, uh, figure that out sooner than later uh, before, you know, it causes too much other damage. But take you on a little bit of a spin. Just kind of heading home right now. Kind of had a long day. But, uh, I mean, this truck is just solid for what it is, for the year it is, for the amount of miles it has. Kind of really excited to see, you know, what, what direction I want to take it in. I'd like to just keep it as, as grandpa as possible. You know, I don't really want to do, you know, too much boyish, scrappish behavior things on it. You know, though I am 22, I, ha I already ordered a straight pipe kit from Banks. And it should be here tonight, actually. So I'm going to try and do a video about that uh, coming up here shortly. Yeah, it shifts a little hard in first. Still getting used to it. Still trying to find out uh, where the where the weak spots might be and, you know, stuff to keep an eye on. Truck does overheat, uh, but not while you're particularly driving it on the freeway or just around town. It's really like when you get the motor up to temp and then you idle, maybe at a long stoplight or in a drive through I mean, the temp just walks up. I mean, slow, but it gets hot. And then it's so weird, you start going 10 miles an hour and it's perfectly back to normal again. So trying to, try to figure out what that is. I already replaced the thermostat, upper and lower radiator hoses, just cause I was already in there. Did a coolant flush, uh, replaced the radiator cap, and uh, what else did I do? Yeah, coolant flush, all new coolant, you know. Um, checked, I just got the oil changed, checked the oil, you know, no, no milky, watery oil, so. Oh, fuck. Vegas drivers, man, I'm telling you. Um, so we'll see. I, uh, I ordered a water pump and a serpentine belt. That's also going to get here tonight. Probably going to install that in the next day or so with my buddy. And uh, so probably going to do a video about that, kind of just for my own record. And at this point, I'm really just rambling on. I wasn't really prepared uh, with anything specific that I wanted to talk to or really the direction that I wanted to take this in. But keep in mind, just doing this for me for now and maybe like my four friends that are going to watch this. But like I said, if it blows up, you know, if I do cool shit, I'll videotape it, see what happens. But uh, here, hold on, listen. I just revved up to 21, oh man, I'm tired, 2100 RPMs-ish, so. And one other thing I did want to add, because um, I kind of started to ramble for a second. Truck's a total grandpa truck, totally stock. Nothing's done to the motor. I forgot to pop the hood. I'll probably do that after I make this quick stop. Uh, nothing's been done to the motor. Nothing's been done to the inside. You know, I I kind of already went through that like Nefson honky tonk rig uh, life with pickup trucks when I was younger. You know, with the lift kits and uh, <laughs> you know lift kits and 35s and light bars on a truck that wasn't even four wheel drive or on a truck that didn't have a winch. You know, and you're getting stuck and you know functionality versus what looks cool. Just like that, none of that was balanced, and so. You know, like I said, I, I had a, geez, my hair's probably a mess. Uh, I've had a Cummins, I had the same year Cummins before and uh, totally just wrecked it. I did not take care of it. Uh, I had no business really even driving a truck like that. And um, now I have the opportunity to get back in another one. It's got about 100,000 more miles than the previous vehicle I had. And uh, I just, I want to take care of it. I, I think if, um, this is my dream truck. Actually, well, the only thing I would add is I wish, 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 wish there was a sunroof, but you know, it's not really a deal breaker and there's so many companies that do that, uh, they can add that. And so I, if that's really something that I want in the future, I can just, I'll just get it done, but I'm not really concerned. So aside from that, this is my dream truck. I see myself driving this forever. Third gens are my favorite body style for these older diesels and uh, the Cummins motor, the way it sounds, the way it hauls, the reliability of it, um, aside from the trans, but we all know that. It's just great. And so I really, you know, and even just how simple it is. You got four wheel drive, you got the heater, or uh, <laughs> the AC and heater, fan speed, you got whatever you want to blow it on, yada yada, hot, cold, heated seats. And that's it. I mean, like just the less electrical shit 
like the better and and I just I like love the simplicity of it I love how clean it is in here and like I said I mean it is just an immaculate condition for 16 years old and so uh, I'm excited to take care of it to maintenance it to kind of record this um, like I said for my friends maybe my kids one day who knows so um, what's up bud come here come here come here little crazy boy all right uh i just got home i filmed like five or what i thought was a, f a five minute video and i pulled up in front of oh no way oh ah. roommate left the garage open that's funny um so i filmed what uh what i thought was a five minute video and then i pull up in front of my house turn the Turn the phone around and uh, wasn't even recording. So, I'm gonna try and fix that and try to remember what I was saying. I was just rambling, but I felt like I said a lot of cool things or at least uh, important things. So, I'm gonna try and capture that right now. Nothing like a little 8 a.m. beer after, uh, after work. There's Mookie back there, he's crazy. So, let's get into it. So, um, Potential spam. I need to get a fucking camera for this. This is this is gonna get old real quick. Um, man, totally forgot what I was gonna say. I feel like with these things, I just need to like just start talking. But also, like, I feel like there's a little can of soup right here. <laughs> I feel like if I just start talking too much, then I ramble on, and and um, I'm definitely like a person that. Uh, I get, I don't have like ADHD or I think I don't, but I'll, I'll get sidetracked so, uh, so quickly. So, and sometimes it's hard when I'm driving. So I'll, I'll really stray off. Um, cause my mind it just, you know, starts rambling and going on and going doing its own, its own thing. So anyways, I'm just going to wrap this up. Uh, I got a few things I got to take care of. Uh, I haven't slept yet, but, um, Anyways, I'm super excited about the super excited about the truck. Super excited about making videos. Um, it's kind of one of those things that I never thought I would do, but you know, I'm doing it now, and I'm sure I'm gonna learn a lot of things along the way, and and hopefully, video quality and production and sound and all that stuff uh, gets better. What is still doing? Um, you know, like I said, if if. Uh, if this turns out good and, and there's, um, you know, cool stuff to film and, and you and you guys by, you know, randoms who might be watching or uh, just my friends, you know, if if, uh, if there's stuff that you want to see, <laughs> if there's stuff you want, if there's stuff you want to see, uh, just leave a, leave a comment and uh, we'll get that taken care of and uh, make some good content for you guys. But in the meantime, it's basically just gonna be me uh, drinking beer, wrenching on the truck, hanging out with friends, uh, and just rambling on. So just with that being said, um, I'm gonna edit all these videos now. I don't know how much of this is even gonna go in the video with what I've been talking about, but um, yeah, I'm excited. Uh, if you've made it this far in the video, I fucking appreciate you. And uh, if not, I totally understand, but you wouldn't even be watching this to, to see that. So, cheers.